time in Brooklyn. Yes, we're back in Brooklyn. And the an interesting story, Angela's airplane. Hmm. All right, Angela's father took her to the airport, but when they got there, a terrible thing happened. Angela's father got lost. Oh, she looked under the airplanes and on top of them and besides the planes, but she couldn't find him anywhere. So Angela decided to look inside the plane. She saw one with an open door and she climbed up the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, right to the top. Her father was not there and neither was anyone else. Angela had never been in an airplane before, and in the front there was a seat that had lots of buttons all around it, and Angela loved to push the buttons. So she walked up to the front and she sat down in the seat, and she said to herself, is it okay if I push just one button? Don't you think it's okay if I push just one button? Okay, yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Well, then she slowly pressed the bright red button and right away, the door closed. <gasps> Angela said, it's okay if I push just one more button. Don't you think it's okay if I push just one more button? Sure, right. Slowly, she pushed the yellow button. Right away, the lights came on. <gasps> Angela said, well, it's okay if I push just one more button. Don't you think it's okay if I push just one more button? Oh yes, it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> she pushed the green button and right away the motor came on. Vroom, 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 vroom. <gasps> oh, Angela said, oh. And she pushed all the buttons at once. The airplane took off and went right up into the air. And when Angela looked out the window, she saw that she was very high in the sky. She didn't know how to get down. The only thing to do was to push one more button. So she slowly pushed the black button. It was a radio button. A voice came out of the radio and said, bring back that airplane, you thief, you. <gasps> oh, Angela said, my, my name is Angela. I am five years old. Uh, I don't know how to fly airplanes. Oh dear, cried the voice, what a mess. Listen carefully, Angela. Take the steering wheel and turn it to the left. Angela turned the wheel and very slowly, the airplane went in a big circle and came back right over the airport. Okay, said the voice, pull back on the wheel. Uh, Angela pulled back on the wheel and the airplane slowly went down the runway. It hit once and bounced. It hit again and bounced. Then one wing scraped the ground. Right away, the whole plane smashed and broke into little pieces. Oh no, Angela was left sitting on the ground. She did not even have a scratch. All sorts of cars and trucks came rushing to the terminal. There were police cars ambulances, trucks, buses, all sorts of people came running. And in front of everybody was Angela's father. He picked her up and said, Angela, are you all right? And she said, yes. Oh, Angela, the airplane is not all right. It is in very, very small pieces. I know, said Angela, it was a mistake. Well, Angela said her father, promise me you will never fly another airplane. Uh, I promise, said Angela. Are you sure, said her father. Angela said very loudly, I promise, I promise, I promise. Angela did not fly an airplane for a very long time, but when she grew up, she didn't become a doctor, she didn't become a truck driver, she didn't become a secretary, she didn't become a nurse. What she did, she became an airplane pilot. And that's the end of the story of Angelo. Great story. Great. Well, we have a birthday that passed quite, quite a bit, maybe two weeks ago. But this birthday was shared with Cameron Dan's birthday. 
It was Max's birthday. I know. So now, a little while later, we're going to celebrate Max's birthday. He's such a great, a great guy that he deserves a, 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 a birthday shout out, even if it is a little late. I'm sure that Joe and Dan and Sylvie and Lily and his, his mom, Gail, and his dad, Bob, uh, had a fabulous party, fabulous celebration. So ours is going to be a little tiny one, a little tiny happy birthday. So let's see who's going to be our um, chocolate people. Well, Bruce and Max, we've got another Max. Yes, Bruce and Max. Jolene and Molly and Alice and um, Nora and Carson. I think they might be at a wedding today. Um, Gray, Audrey, and Lila. Uh, James and Anna and Maeve. Uh, Bevy and B and Ben, of course. And uh, the Skylar sisters, Angelica and um, Peggy and Eliza. I think that's it for chocolate. On the vanilla side, Riley. Oh, wonderful Riley, very faithful. Joseph and Christopher, um, uh, Harris and Maya. Who else? Let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, Lulu and Frida and Maxine and Hannah and Patrick. All right, let's count. Okay. Mm. 16 for chocolate, a lot for chocolate, and 12 for vanilla. All right, so let's sing a chocolate cake for our friend Max. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Max. Happy birthday to you. Okay, thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Ariel. And remember, I love you all very much.